I'm always on the lookout for new and exciting passports for you as the wealthy expat. And one of those passports is the Serbian passport. One of the few in the world that can go to the Schengen area, Russia and China. They combine East and West and they maintain a fine balance between Western countries, EU member states, the US, Canada, Australia, and also Eastern countries like Russia and China. You have a solid access all over the world and they've been gaining more and more visa free countries in the last 10 years. They have Japan, which is consistently tough to get with any passport. All the citizenship by investment countries in the Caribbean, for example, you need a visa to Japan. So I was always looking for a new passport that is improving fast, that has good relationships with pretty much every country around the world. It's not a country that you really think about that people hate. Serbia maintains that balance and they're aggressive in trying to get more visa-free travel. They're talking to the United States for possible ESTA, visa-free travel to the US, although their visa refusal rate is over the 3% that they need to get that ESTA, that visa-free access to the US. They're also talking to Australia, to the UK, and multiple of these English-speaking countries to get their visa-free travel. It's also a country that remains separated from the West, from the wokeness. And if you were to live in Serbia at any point, you wouldn't be a affected by all this woke mentality and all this movement that is happening in the US and in the West overall. The Serbian passport compared to other, for example, Caribbean citizenships, you have access to Japan as well. You have access to those key countries that are extremely hard to get a visa, to get visa free access with pretty much every citizenship by investment out there with the exception of Malta and Turkey. It's also a passport that not many people think about if you show up at a border with the Serbian passport they don't think okay this guy bought this passport or he got it through some donation or through some real estate which happens sometimes unfortunately now that citizenship by investment is so popular around the world I've heard many people get stopped at the immigration and asked how did you get this especially if the place of birth doesn't match at all or it's a country that that country doesn't like the place of birth if they see a citizenship from saint lucia antigua saint kitts they tend to ask more questions with a serbian passport everybody pretty much assumes that you've been living there for a long time or you've been married to a serbian which are the traditional ways of getting this passport but there is another way to get the citizenship as long as you contribute enough to the country specifically building a business in the country here at wealthy expat me rafael as the ceo i'm working towards serbian citizenship because we have a part of our staff that is based in Serbia. We have good contacts in Serbia and also Serbian people tend to be very hardworking, English speaking and overall knowledgeable about the rest of the world. Serbia is definitely on my mind over the next six to 12 months and you can benefit from it as a wealthy expat if you want one of those passports that is not thought of as a citizenship by investment. Maybe you already have access to the UK because with a Serbian passport, it is relatively hard to get a UK visa. So if you don't care about the UK and about the English speaking big countries, which they might get visa free access in the future and other countries around the world. Again, I said they're very aggressive at getting that visa free access. They're signing multiple agreements with many countries around the world to get that visa free access so it might even improve in the next couple of years. If you don't want one of these passports like the citizenship by investment, which I obviously promote a lot because I think it's your privilege as a wealthy expat. You have money, get yourself a second citizenship to protect yourself, your family, your assets. If you want one of those passports that is not on that list of those that people think that you bought, then the Serbian one could be a great option for you. And there are many ways to do it specifically by building a business in the country. I think it's extremely important to not just look at how a passport is right now, but to look at where they're heading in the future. For example, if you see the agreements that Serbia is signing with other countries, they have signed with Jordan, Sri Lanka, Nicaragua, Mexico, which is a tough one to get with citizenship by investment, Antigua and Barbuda, Vietnam, and Saudi Arabia to have visa-free travel over the next couple of years. When you see a country signing multiple agreements, when you see them improving year over year in their visa-free access, and you know that it's a country that is not going at war with anyone. Maybe they have some issues with Kosovo, their neighbor, but in general, it's not thought of as a sanctioned country, as a country with many problems. Those are the kind of passports that you should get, apart from the ones that I discussed for citizenship by investment. If you want to get the Serbian passport and you are a wealthy expat willing to invest in the country of Serbia, then definitely book a call with us in the description. We can connect you to our contacts there in Serbia and they can help you get it. If you want to get yourself a second or third citizenship and you're looking for options around the world, definitely check out this video right here on the 10 countries that sell their citizenship legally so that you can get a second passport in as little as six months. Check it out right here.